Okay, you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make convex and concave surfaces in Fusion 360. Okay, let's start by uh, creating a circle on a plane. I'm just choosing the horizontal, or actually the vertical plane. Uh, we're going to extrude it just so that, uh, well, you, you'll see, uh, you'll, you'll understand why at the end of the video. But, um, Okay, so we have a uh, basically a fraction of a cylinder here, and uh, I'm going to be adding an offset plane on the frontmost surface. Let's say 10 millimeters away, and basically this offset plane will be the height of your convex surface. So, okay, next I'm going to add a point on that uh, offset plane and we're just going to drop it right in the center. So the key to a uh, the key to this is the loft command. So as you can see I have a flat surface and I have that point right there. Now I'm just going to uh, select loft, select the flat surface and then the second uh, the point will be I'm selecting the point next. And uh, right here and in, uh, instead of sharp, select point tangent, and voila, you have a con uh, convex surface. This is pretty cool. Uh, that's no more using half of a s or a quarter of a circle and revolving. No re uh, revolves at all. All right, so that's a quick and easy convex uh, surface. Next we're going to do a concave surface and uh, same principle we're going to uh, do an offset plane but this time we're going to go inside uh, the object that we just made right there and then select point select the offset drop it right in the middle and loft tool Select the surface, select the point. And point tangent. And there you go. You got a convex on a concave surface. And uh, just to prove to you guys that it is convex and concave. Well, convex is easy to tell, but we'll use the uh, section analysis and cut it in half and see what it looks like in the cross section and select the right view and there we go we have a pretty damn good convex and concave surface on the same object pretty cool right, thanks for watching guys